She's just a girl and she's on fire Hotter than a fantasy Lonely like a highway She's living in a world and it's on fire Filled with catastrophe But she knows she can fly away Welcome back to the Elizabethan era. So in this video, I am doing a recap on the event that I'm hosting. It's called The Empowered Era, brought to you by the Elizabethan era. And so what it is, is a woman empowerment series. This being March is Women's History Month, and it's also International Women's Day on March 8th. And so I just wanted to put on an event and capture just different pieces of what it means to be a woman and have intellectual conversation that stimulates your mind rather than just the where do you shop and what makeup do you wear, but rather seeing what women truly mean and what women truly are. Here on this Sunday, and I ask that you continue to watch over us, God and protect our lives and God and protect our health and our wealth, oh Lord. Something I wanted to start it off with is a read from my devotional. I don't know how many of you guys read devotionals, but I found that this year has been different than my other years because I've been consistent with my devotional. <laughs> what empowers you? I get empowered whenever I see people, more especially women, living in their truth and just being unapologetically themselves and finding yourselves and indulging in it. What empowers me? It's kind of like Lizzie's, just the opposite. Uh, it's the woman I used to be, uh, whether that was yesterday, five years ago, ten years ago. Uh, something that empowers me is my faith. I think it's really important to understand that you are here for a purpose and a reason. That's what empowers me is just to like to be myself and bring my character and eat. Women who are, you know, have a lot of zeal. Remember the daughter of whose child you are or remember whose child you are, which if you're Nigerian and you come from like a strict <laughs> Christian culture, it influences your goals and what you aspire to become. To become successful because there's really no other option. That's what's happening. And I feel like as if I feel like I'm going somewhere, then that helps other people feel like, okay, well, that person can, is, you know, has the aspiration to go somewhere, then I, I'm going to go somewhere too. What empowers me is really just being around like kind of people. Uh, medicine also empowers me because I want to find a cure to Alzheimer's and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going back to nursing, so I guess what empowers me is that I have a huge passion in helping people. Like, you know, helping people, it just, you know, it just makes my heart so happy. Like, just helping someone who's like, less where I am and just like bringing them up. Just, you know, it's true. I guess it's just like how I started and how I began my ball rolling. Two things that empower me. One is my story, because looking at me on the outside, you know, it's not where I came from at all. And not to say that anyone else has lesser tragedies or obstacles in their life, but not enough people share to motivate the next woman. Mm -hmm. um, if you know what happens to me, you know, whatever it is, it can help you to know that you can get through it too. And, you know, I look like I'm shining now, but trust me. Do you dress for yourself or others? So, let's go. I thought of bringing this conversation up once Lisa was talking about um, whenever she wants to go out, she really wants to be comfortable in who she is. She does not like makeup type stuff, but since she knows other people are going to be dressed, she's like, okay, let me present the best version in their eyes, or my eyes, whichever one, of myself so that we're all on one accord, we're all dressed up. Oh, you're wearing lashes, you're wearing heels, we're all dressed up. I dress for myself. Mm -hmm. Even Mel can't even like piggyback because like when we go out, we just feel like we always overdress. And it's not because we're like looking for guys because the guys out here really ain't nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, I'm sure. <laughs> when we go out, so we're like, every single time. So we're like, there's no point in like looking cute for guys, so we'll just put on an outfit and we'll end up always overdressing, but it just feels good for ourselves. Like, exactly. we know that we buy clothes, and it's not to like, oh, let me put an outfit together, but we'll put it on because, regardless of the event, so I'm like, if I have clothes, I'm gonna put it on. This is my, if the dress code is this and that. If I wanna wear heels, I'm gonna wear heels on. <laughs> if it says everyone's wearing casual, I'm gonna look dressy because I have the clothes in my closet. Like, I'm not going on a day, I'm not, or even just dinner with a friend, we'll dress up because it just makes you feel like mm -hmm. tall, feels good, like you have nice things on. So I feel like I dress for myself. So it's when I get invited to go somewhere like here, because you know I'm a sweatpants kind of girl. Uh, I'm not a dressy 
anything. I saw on the attire it was like casual dressy, dressy and I was like, Lizzie's casual dressy is. <laughs> 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 um, I had to go my closet and pull out something from my closet. But I think that, um, like she was saying, you do, you still dress for yourself. As long as your style is your style, mm -hmm. and you might not want to put in the effort at that moment, but I can promise you, after your face is beating, your outfit is laid, you will feel so much better about yourself. <laughs> um, and and it's, the process sucks. Like, I hate doing my makeup. I hate doing my natural hair. I hate getting dressed for work every morning. But when I show up to work, I'm like, damn, I know I look good. So, I mean, I, I would say that I dress for myself. Come on. I'll go all the way against the grain. I agree with what everyone has said, but for me, I dress for the occasion and the people at the occasion. Because if it was my choice, you know, I don't comb my hair most days. Like, I don't want to put on makeup ever. I don't want to put on heels. I, I really don't care for, you know, the dress or to dress up. You do it to not be the oddball out. So to some degree, some days you do get up and you feel cute and you're like, okay, I'm going to dress for me. Put on makeup because I want to. Yeah. But 98% of the time, like, I don't, I don't want to do that. I do that because... You don't want to pull up to the event. Everybody got on full face bundles and heels, mm. and you out here, you know, and you catches it like that. <laughs> <laughs>
however I look because I think that, I mean, I think I'm beautiful. Like, I think that, like you said, like, I was made in God's image and, like, I, look, I, I'm not ugly. Like, God, you know, I'm not ugly. <laughs>